He really is a beautiful dog. His coloring is gorgeous. So I'm just massaging that a little bit. And I think I might adjust that because it's a little bit, we would call it probably body right, right? I forget all the names of listings, okay. right? That was so long ago. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, nothing. There it goes. I told you he's going to yell. Okay, it's okay. So that's, mm. You're okay. Yep. Yeah, I did. It moved a little bit. Asian is free. He's a two-year-old King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. Okay. And we have Isaac, Dr. Isaac, and his wife, Galit. Galit. Yes. And uh, Dr. <laughs> Isaac is a New York City chiropractor, and we connected through social media. And today we're going to look at Brody. And Brody, tell us a little bit what's been happening. Brody's only two, but started to have some bad days recently. Yeah. He's been in a lot of pain, even just coming near him, even just touching him, which is a little bit better with. Crying. Yeah. And crying. He lost his ability to jump up. Yeah. He lost his ability to do... To be happy. <laughs> and, then, be happy. and then you guys did um, x-rays that weren't too inclusive. He's but been on some medication, and that's yeah. not the way we want him to go, so... No. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially with the younger, younger dog, you don't want to... Younger dog to just be on meds the rest of their lives. Right. That would be really sad. Right. It's definitely. Um, you know, when you have a senior dog, maybe at 17 years old, and you right. just want to get them comfortable, I understand that's a decision each family he's not has to even make. Two. But he's not even two yet. So, um, so I'm going to keep looking. So now I'm going to go back and check the atlas, and they're even now. So those spaces are beautiful. And I'm going to come down the neck. And I feel a little bit here at C3 on the right. So and you can feel that right here. Like just right in there is a little tighter muscle than on the left around the same level. And um, kind of right here, let me come down. Right in there. You replace your finger with mine. I mean, replace your finger. I think I meant put your finger where my finger was. <laughs> so I don't even know if that one needs to be adjusted as much massage. So I'm going to massage that one a little bit. May I work on you today, Brody? What do you think about mm -hmm. that? Can I work on you? Yes. Okay. Let's turn them this way, towards the camera. And maybe you sit next to us or... So I'm going to massage that little spot at C3. We're all in here together so he sees his family. Yeah. He really is a beautiful dog. His coloring is gorgeous. So I'm just massaging that a little bit. And I think I might adjust that because it's a little bit, we would call it probably body right, right? I forget all the names of listings, okay. right? That was so long ago. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, nothing. There it goes. I told you he's going to yell. Okay, it's okay. So that's, mm. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, did you adjust it that? Yeah, I did. It moved a little bit. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> What do you think about his whole thoracic? Well, it feels like, so this on a horse is the withers area, T3 through T8. And he feels like he's a little guarded up here. He's a little hunched up. And that's usually because uh, one of the front limbs is off. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm going to check that in a second. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. He's just uh, guarded. You know, he's right. braced up. Right. But when we come here, this is a little more rounded than I'd like to see right here. Do you feel this? This is what I was saying. Yeah. He has a rounded rib. Yeah. Right and so he gets rounded right in there. And let's tr start on the good arm. So let's turn him towards the camera again, okay? And we're going to start on the good arm, which is on your side. Right. And we're going to just see if he'll let me bring his arm up a little bit and then bring it out. And then feel his little feet as little flanges and then do that a little bit and then stretch the leg see if he lets me stretch the leg out he does good and then we're going to bring the leg up 
So in that way, I'm kind of bringing it up this way. And now we'll go to what's possibly his bad side, is bad left and bad, left. the whole left side. Whole left. So um, here, let's have him sit Ready down again. Ready, sit. So his sit. weight's off his front. Good boy. Good boy. And one of the things I also want to check is to see if he'll, we're going to check his proprio reception. So we knuckle his knuckles down. And he should move it in instantly, so he doesn't want that to be touched, which no. is good. But if a, a dog like leaves it there and doesn't even know to move it back, then there's something neurologically disconnected. Okay. Where they have no idea that their leg is like in a weird position. Okay. But he knows all about this leg. Oh, yeah. So he's very vigilant, hyper vigilant about this leg. So I'm gonna just move this a little bit. And you see he's panting, you know, he's he's worried. Yeah. He's so he's letting me move these these little toes and then here's the next joint and that's moving nicely and then here's the next joint and then we're gonna bring it out straight towards you and he lets me do that so it's protecting <clears throat> good so he lets me do that and I'm reaching in here now into kind of that pec area in the yeah. front. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling it on both sides to see if I notice anything off. Do you want to shoot where she's sitting? Don't mind me. Sure. Um, you can even sit there if you want, Lisa. Do you want to sit there? Just, for a second? Just in case he gets up and moves. Okay. He's letting me work on him a little bit. So now I'm just massaging into his shoulder blades. And oh, we don't want him Brody to jump. Stay. Stay. Now I'm gonna, he's in a good position for me to check the thoracic. So I'm going to come down here. And let me check these ribs. This feels high right here. Fill this one, Isaac. Like in there, there's like a, a ribby spot. I know. When, you, I, when I come up his ribs like that, I feel like it gets stuck in there. So I might just do a little shift on this where you go like this. This one doesn't make an audible, but it might make him yell. Right. It's okay. Okay. Leave that one alone. We, we put a little motion into it. And I'm coming down, and I'm just grabbing each spinous like this, like we do anyway with humans. Right. I'm kind of watching him. And here it gets really gnarly. Here, feel this, Isaac. Um, here, cup it first. Yeah, so in there it's a little tight. Yeah, it's like a gap almost, yeah. right? Yeah, so that one doesn't feel right. <clears throat> so this I'm gonna just, deep. I'm gonna jump. And that's the one, that's very close to where we saw in the x-ray where it looked a little, yeah, disc like really a little hard. arthritic or that disc was getting um, fuzzy. It wasn't a, like a clean spacing. So to do this, um, do you think he'll bite me? No. He okay. So I'm gonna grab from the belly because on dogs or even horses, but much more with dogs, if you just push through, their whole body just bounces. Okay. So you want to like stabilize on the other side. When we're lying on a table, we get to like the table stabilizes us, right? Okay. When we're face down. But yeah, but they don't have that unless he's really if he's totally on his belly like. The yeah. legs behind him, yeah. I can do that. Right. But instead, I have to create a table under him under. with my hand. Mm -hmm. So this one might make him yell because this is his ten, his tenderoni spot. And he's got more than one. So I'm going to start with this one first. So I'm going to lift up, compressing. And that opens the disc space. Yeah. What do we do? There. And he's letting me do it, as you can yeah. see. That's so the bad cool. one. Okay, bro, you're such a good boy. We found it. Actually, I might get the activator for that. <laughs> Stay there. So, hold on to him. I'll be right back. Ran to the other room. 
So the reason I want to use the activator after I told you I don't use it that much is because this spot's super tender and I want a high speed little thunk really fast. And it's much faster than I can do it. Sitting or standing? Uh, he's good right here. I can follow him. Okay. So here, these two bumps here are the tuber sacralis. Mm -hmm. And then in between is their tiny little sacrum. And then I come up higher and I'm do looking. Do they have hemipelvis or how is their pelvis? It's just like ours. Um, actually, there's one up there we can look at in a second. Um, but it's just shaped differently. It's much more narrow. And I'm looking for the one. And it's right there. Sorry, little boo. I think he likes it. <laughs> Sorry about that. He likes that. it. Okay. He likes to get it. I just adjusted your L6. Your mom and dad have five and you have seven. Mm -hmm. You really palpate hard, too. Do you see that? Yeah. But we still have more to do. We have a he lot to do. To get he likes the strong. <laughs> No, I, he might have yelled because I was about to come <clears throat> near his foot. But I squeezed here. Oh. Uh, here, just it support is. him for a second. Let me pick up this foot again. There's a little move we can do up here, which is for an anterior humerus <clears throat> where I push back. Okay, there it goes. All right, so now we want to move his back legs around, okay? okay. So we're going to pick him up. Um, he should be on his front feet, and I'm going to just do like a doggy arabesque on his back leg. So, and it's very guarded. He's pulling it away. Yeah. And I'm going to just let it stretch. So I'm going to hold. He's giving me this much. I'm holding. It's like what I've been doing to him. And holding. <laughs> and we'll do it again. And we're just holding it. And this is something you can definitely do at home, but don't rush it. You'll just hold it. Because it feels like his sew has got really tight. That's exactly what I said. Chiropractors. <laughs> no. no. You feel it right in there. It's yeah, and I'm in there now. <clears throat> I told you it's your it's being such a good And I'm pushing my thumb into the little socket. He wants to sit down, but that's fine. And I'm just massaging into his glutes and yeah, that's the dog spine. And you could see the little tiny sacrum and pelvis. And you can bring it over here. It twists up because it's made out of plastic. Mm. But here, hold up the, the pelvis here. Look how small the little sacrum is. <clears throat> oh, wow. and, and there's the pelvic iliums. Mm. So here's the little tiny sacrum, and here's the ilium. And then I always reach for these things because these are good landmarks, and they're called the tuber sacralis. And then I can roll into the lumbars, right? Mm. And find it. And then I come down and hit the sacrum hmm. and I'm still massaging him right now so now I'm going to massage the other side now he chooses a wide face in the back so he and he chooses that because he's uncomfortable so when a quadruped stands a certain way they're of course dealing with gravity hmm. and they're trying to get comfortable or balanced or stabilized so he's picking this really wide base in the back and his feet are a little turned out mm -hmm. because that's how he can negotiate it's with how he feels, you know. And right now I'm still working into these muscles, massaging him, and he's letting me massage him. Now let's check his uh, back right leg. So we're going to do the same thing again where you guys support the front, but he can have his weight on the front. I'm just going to bring that, the right leg back if he lets me. And I only bring it back to where he wants me to and just hold it. This one feels pretty good comparatively. Yeah. Right. 
rest of us is underneath his right. Look, they get it really high up on this one. Yeah. You don't feel the knee, the knee well, pumping out? I, it clicks when you do that. Yeah. So he has hyper mobile patellas. And if you're watching, you have a small dog, or if your vet has told you that, um, make sure you teach your dogs not to jump up. So don't give them any praise when you come home and they jump up on the back legs, like on two legs. You want to keep them on four legs. So then you sit down and only give them petting or attention once you sit, get low with them and let, or bring them up on a couch next to you. So let's go back to the uh, left extension. Okay. And I'm just gonna bring this left leg up again. Good. And there's this move, this is the one that makes them yell, okay? It's called a, it's different on a uh, quadruped, but the, the listing that they call it is an AS ilium. So it goes anterior superior, but it's really more ventral or like belly down. Mm -hmm. And so we, we pull up, oh, where's the uh, plastic spine? I can show it to you on that. And the reason why is this, you have to grab under by the psoas and it's so tender. So the adjustment looks like this, where you're reaching, you're reaching under here. Sorry, here, hold the head straight there for me. So you're reaching under here where it's all tender anyway. It's like tender tissue. And you pull it back up this way because these things move and you're gonna try to yank it back up. And he's got an AS, Ilium on the left, so I'm going to go like this. And just putting your fingers into these tender muscles on the inside is going to make a dog yelp, and this dog yelps anyway. Mm -hmm. So, but it's worth getting because I think it'll make a difference in his walking. So, so this is um, actually we'll do one thing first in case this is the last move of the day. Is I want to check his tail. So help me just. And you can put a hand under his chest, okay. just so. And I'm going to grab the tail that's tucked under and feel it because sometimes the tail can get messed up. So I'm bringing the tail all the way to the left and all the way to the right. That feels Is there good. A tail attached to the sacrum? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's missing all that coccygeal <clears throat> segments. Mm -hmm. And now I'm bending the tail up and down, left and right. They actually feel pretty good, so his tail's fine. Then we can check the sacrum to see if that deviated, and that feels fine too. So I'm going to do that AS ilium. So I have to get a little higher so I have the right angle. And someone uh, just support his face. And this is where he I might yell, okay? I so I'm gonna reach under face. here and find it. There it is, ready? Good boy. Got it. Okay. I told you he was gonna yell. Okay. So now let me come down and Can check yelp everything. Does this okay. rib cage feel normal? It feels like angry, like very well, it does. Is that it's, yeah, it's normal because <clears throat> it's kind of his shape. Right. What do you think about that X-ray? I think his ribs are. No, they looked okay. He does have the beginning of some disc narrowing in those L. Two, three, and four. Right. You need decompression. Um, you need decompress. We can do a little, a little traction up this way and hold. A little occiput traction. Can you come around with the camera and see him straight on? And I'm just gonna do a little lift. It's almost like a doggy Y strap. There we go. Let me check the ears. Let me check the little jaw. Okay, how'd you do? Huh? I think you're okay. That's all we should do for today. Okay. So we're gonna end there. Let's we'll see him walk around. So you guys pick him up and put him down yourself. And then I'll follow him around a little bit. And then, you know, let me know what he's doing. Come back and we can do another one if you want. For sure. Yeah, sometimes it takes a couple. Okay. But I think he's already healing. That's the whole thing. I don't mean from today. I mean, you guys already got him halfway better. Right? I mean, he read with yeah. yeah. a lot. Yeah. Oh, exactly. so he read with him. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did you do okay? Such a good boy.
Yeah, yeah the left leg slips out. So yeah. we should get him some grips right away. Okay. So they're like socks with little grips or just the ones that stick to the bottom. Okay. And the um, because that will let us like, heal really fast. Okay, put it on both and, uh, on all, all Yeah, I do want to look, let me just do it really quick. I do want to look at that back kneecap. So would you help Ready me hold them? And just spin them around this way. Straighten his leg, you feel a little. Yeah, it clunks a little cap. bit. Yeah, <clears throat> it snaps each time, right? Yeah. But it's in right now, so it's it's not misaligned. Check your house, or you, uh, do whatever you want to do. Anything you want to tell me about your body, your neck? No, I'm, I'm, my neck gets really tight on the, especially lower left. Let's see how your hands line up. A little short on the left. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You guys see that? That's so cool. Oh. Oh, my God. That felt so good. How often are you getting adjusted? <clears throat> well, I was sharing an Same. office up until December with a friend of mine, Scott, who's a chiropractor. Look, yeah. it evened up. That's so cool. I never checked that way. And now that we moved in here, I've only been adjusted <coughs> like once every three weeks. Look at his feet, also. Should do your lumbar too. Go on this side. Thank you, doctor. So I moved out of the office with two chiropractors. Oh, but I got this. Oh. Ooh, that was good. Where were you working? Uh, not too far from here. We were at 928 Broadway. And it was perfect for me to be there during the pandemic because we all shared on the rent, you know? Oh, oh my God, that's good. Ah! Little speed. Perfect. Perfect, thank you. Thoracics too? <laughs> Keep going, keep going. This is so good. All right, face down, face up. Face down, face, down, face up. Ah. Oh, this face. Ugh. Oh, Lord. Ugh. Pick your head up a drop. Oh, my God, this is amazing. Come visit him. He's great. Go to him. Bring your dog to me and bring your human body to him. Is there anything going on that I need to know about? I don't mean in your personal life. I just mean, I mean with your back. My neck. mid back is always nobody can really move it too well. <clears throat> A little bit there. <clears throat> a little. Oh. Right there. Do you guys have kids? Yes, three boys. Wow, you you have all men in your house. Right. Even your dog is that guy. Yes. What age range are your ch children? 21, 16, and 14. Very nice. I have two kids. I have Max, who's 33, and I have Lily, who's turning 26 uh, this week. Nice. So, uh, yeah, well, actually, in eight days is her birthday. <coughs> uh, no, Max and his wife, Teresa, are now in Ohio, and Lily lives near me in Brooklyn. Do you feel this spot right here? Good. All right. <coughs> Let's check this 
this out. Let's do it the way he does it. So the right leg here, look, the right leg's a little short. Turn your face all the way to the right and all the way to the left. So it's not, this is coming from his lower back and pelvis, so we're gonna do that first. You're gonna lie on your side facing me, and we're gonna use your hand one. I, I just saw that, I never did that before, I love it. I'm gonna do it right now with you, because that was super cool. Good, now come the other way. You felt that, right? Was it too strong? No, it's good. He's talking. No, nobody can move my back, that's why. I, I got it though. Yeah. Drop your head here, sir. Maybe not that one. Okay, so lie face down again. And run around this way and look. So that's almost even. Okay, now lie on your back. Do you mind if I do, um, you want me to do anything else over there? Okay, no, you reached back, so I didn't know if I was. All right, let, let me do one more in there, okay? First, I'm going to... Let me just do this for a minute. All right, lie on your back. <coughs> Can't say I didn't hit it hard. Oh man, you're strong. <laughs> it moved though, did you feel it? Or are you not sure? The mid back? Yeah. I got a little. <laughs> Am I ever going to see you again or are you just like running away now? Okay, here, Don't put your hands up. I definitely have a lot of arthritic. Uh... They're almost even. Yeah, maybe they're even. Maybe they're even. Yeah. I do Alice a bunch. That's what I was doing. But I get a lot of headaches on the right side. So we do the right side. Let the arms and uh, shoulders stay straight. Can any of that go? Oh, a little bit, yeah, that's good. Oh. A little there, right? Oh. What? <laughs> that was good. Did you, what did you feel? Yeah, that was a big decompression, like the occiput. Okay, good. Oh. So let's leave it there. That's enough for today. He's smiling. <laughs> All right. Woo! I feel like sometimes I just want to pull my head off. All right, thank you, Dr. Isaac. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please leave Brody a comment, and we'll maybe continue and do a follow-up. Thank you. He really is a beautiful dog. His coloring is gorgeous. So I'm just massaging that a little bit. And I think I might adjust that because it's a little bit, we would call it probably body right, right? I forget all the names of listings.